What's the crack? In this video, I'm going to give you everything that you need to write your own, to write your own workout plan. I've done a video a couple of weeks ago on the best workout split that you can do as a beginner, but in this video, I'm literally going to give you everything that you need so you can write your own workout plan no matter what your level you're at. I'm going to talk about the principles behind writing a workout plan, the three mechanisms of muscle development, explain everything that you need to know, and then give you loads of exercises and stuff at the end. So at the end of this video, you're literally going to have your own workout plan and you're going to be able to follow it, and then you're just going to be able to turn it into an absolute fucking base. So the principles and stuff that I'm going to explain to you in this video are going to be based around hypertrophy and strength. So a lot of workout plans are just for strength or just for hypertrophy but I believe in getting stronger but also looking good. Like I don't think that you should have to choose one or the other. Like obviously if you're just a pure bodybuilder you should only be going for hypertrophy and you don't really care about strength and if you're just a powerlifter you should only be going for um, strength and you don't really care that much about hypertrophy but I like looking good and I like getting stronger too so I'm going to explain you how you can base your workout plan so you can get stronger and also build loads of muscle as well. Right, so the way in which we're going to achieve this is by mixing strength with hypertrophy in the same session. Now, there's loads of people that do it different ways. Some people do like a week of strength and then a week of hypertrophy, but in my personal opinion, because everything is just my own opinion here, I like doing them both in the same session and I just find that it works best. So what we're going to do is base each session with a compound lift at the start and the compound lift is going to be in the strength rep range, so the one to six rep range and then we're going to go into hypertrophy work after so we're hitting the three mechanisms of muscle development mechanical tension muscle damage and metabolic stress but i'm going to talk about them a little bit later all you need to know at the minute is we're working on strength at the start of the session so we're using our compound lifts one to six reps to work on strength and then we're working on hypertrophy at the end of the session we're hitting all three mechanisms of muscle development so you're going to be strong and build loads of muscle right so as well as doing strength and hypertrophy in the same session what we're going to do is base the workout plan around these principles hitting each muscle group twice per week at least and having 48 hours rest in between the main muscles uh. In between, sometimes I just can't talk. I'm not like, I don't know why I just fumble over words anyway, but we're gonna have 48 hours rest in between training the same muscle group and we're gonna be hitting each muscle group at least twice per week because studies show that they are the best ways to do it in order to maximize muscle development because in terms of rest, your muscles don't actually grow when you're in the gym. Your muscles grow after you leave the gym and when they're resting and recovering in order to grow and adapt. So if you're hammering the same muscle group without giving them 48 hours rest in between training them, you're just not gonna grow optimally. And then in terms of hitting them frequently, you wanna be hitting them more than once a week because studies show that that helps develop muscles and just turns you into a complete gorilla. Right, so now you know you're going to have strength and hypertrophy in each session. You're going to have adequate rest in between training the same muscle groups and you're going to have enough frequency to maximize muscle development. Now I want to talk about the three mechanisms of muscle development because in order for your muscles to develop and grow, there's basically three mechanisms that help them do that. So if you can hit all three of them mechanisms each session, it's just going to maximize muscle development and just make everything just absolutely legendary. So the three mechanisms of muscle development is mechanical tension, muscle damage and metabolic stress. Now a lot of people when they're training they'll only focus on one or two of these but if you want to optimally develop your muscles you need to focus on all three and I'm going to explain them to you now. Right so the first mechanism of muscle development is mechanical tension and basically all you need to know about mechanical tension is it's lifting heavy things through a full range of motion. You need to be putting a heavy load on your muscles and bringing them through a full range of motion in order to inhibit mechanical tension and allow your muscles to grow. Like so when you're doing heavy bench press heavy deadlift, heavy squats, that's all mechanical tension work and that's probably, in my opinion, the most important thing that you need to do to develop muscles. But obviously you're gonna do all three, but if you only had to do one, I'd say do mechanical tension. Heavy lifting through a full range of motion and you're golden. Right, so the next mechanism of muscle development is muscle damage. Now muscle damage occurs through the concentric and the eccentric phases of the different movements, or in simple man terms, the positive and the negative. That's why you see so many different bodybuilders and stuff emphasize on like a really slow negative. So they'll go up, like say for example a bicep curl bicep curl and then they'll go really slow on the way down in order to maximize muscle damage and inhibit muscle growth so there's a bit of crossover between mechanical tension and muscle damage but muscle damage if you think about it it's really focusing on concentric and eccentric movement and then mechanical tension is focusing on heavy load and bringing an exercise through a full range of motion so the third and final mechanism for muscle development is metabolic stress now metabolic stress is often done with very lightweight for high reps often going for failure now the premise behind this is to pump 
pump loads of blood to your muscles, often getting them instantly bigger and giving you the pump. Now, the main problem with this is a lot of people go to the gym just chasing the pump because they can see the results instantly, but just chasing the pump isn't actually going to help with muscle development without mechanical tension and muscle damage. So with our workout plan, what we're going to do is we're going to do the mechanical tension and muscle damage at the start of this session and they're going to make up the bulk of it and then we'll add exercises in for metabolic stress or the pump at the end in order to maximize muscle development. Right, so now you know all the principles behind your workout program, adequate rest, frequency, how it's going to help you build muscle and get stronger. I want to talk about the training split that you should do because training splits are going to be completely individualized from person to person depending on how many days they can go to the gym. So I'm going to make this as easy as possible for you. Like we said before, you need to be training each muscle group twice per week with 48 hours rest in between training the same muscle group. So I'd recommend going to the gym a maximum of six times a week. I personally only go five times a week, but if you really want to go six just because you enjoy it, you can and a minimum of three. Now, if you can just go two, then you can go two, but I would really try for a minimum of three. So two or three, do a full body split. If you can go four, do an upper lower split. Go five, do push pull legs, upper lower. And if you can go six, do push pull legs. And it's simple as that. That way you're getting your twice per week frequency uh, with 48 hours rest in between training the mo mo uh, always fuck it up at the end with 48 hours rest in between training the same muscle group and your sweep right so now you know the principles behind the workout plan and what training split that you should be doing i want to talk about how you can bring on weak points by adjusting your training split so Let's say for example you're training five days a week and your weak point is chest. What you want to do is add more volume in for chest without going over the rules, going over the rules, without breaking the rules. So the rules are 48 hours rest in between training the same muscle group. So if you're adding more frequency in for your chest, you need to make sure you're still getting your 48 hours rest. So for five days, I recommend doing push, pull, legs, upper, lower. So what you would do is you have your push, pull, legs, and then you have a rest day, and then upper, lower, and then another rest day. So if you're looking to bring on your chest, what you could do is push, pull, legs and chest, rest, upper, lower. That way you're still getting 48 hours rest in between training the same muscle group, but you've added chest and extra on leg day just to add in more frequency and volume. So then you're gonna develop your underdeveloped muscle groups and you're gonna be a legend. Right, so I hope that explained everything pretty well and now you have a good understanding of how to build your own workout plan. What I'm gonna do now is give you different exercises for the different muscle groups so you can literally go and pick them from that. Pick your favorite exercises and throw yourself together a workout plan. The exercises are also going to be in order on how you would actually structure them so compounds accessory and then isolation first so everything's basically done for you all you need to do is pick your exercises depending on your training split and your sweep right so before we go into the exercises i just want to give you the different training splits here with the different muscle groups that you'll train on them days just so you know in case you don't already know and then we'll have it here legs we we'll have your compound accessory and isolation these aren't the only leg exercises obviously actually for all of them legs chest shoulders back these aren't the only exercises they're just sort of a list of my favorite ones to give you an idea and see realistically they're, they're the only exercises that you really need lots of people try and do a whole range of different complicated exercises but in my opinion these basic ones if you stick to them make your plan out of these you're going to be sweet so uh, you have all your exercises here just pick and mix your favorite ones and put together your plan and then also i give some uh, sort of rules and regulations not rules and regulations what am i talking about but some just general advice on how to structure your plan and information about the different uh, reps and sets and stuff like that so basically do everything this says and you're going to get stronger and build lots of muscle Right, so hopefully you find that video useful and now you know how to build your own workout plan. If you want to give me a follow on Instagram and if Anna use build your own workout plan, send me it because I'd love to see what you've come up with to see if this video was actually helpful. And as always, if you want to drop a like, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. It would help a lot on the road to a thousand, hopefully going to get there in the next month or two and that would be sick. So yeah, I'm going to continue to pump out weekly videos and uh, hopefully they'll be good. So I'll see you in the next one.